Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is my step-by-step -step guide for the Ensemble Cast achievement and also the Stand-In achievement if you haven't done as the much solo as it pains me to say version it, I of this. Think George is going to lunch. I'm playing you know I mean. with my buddy T-West in default. We're going to knock this out of the park. Hopefully I can make this easy to understand for everybody. What you're going to have to do is kill some zombies, get a little money around waivers five or six, seven maybe. Uh, you got to get a crawler and you're going to want to turn on the power and then come to this room with the vault door. You're going to knife it. They're going to tell you to get a fuse. The fuse is going to be up in this room. It can be either on this table, which it is now. And I'll go ahead and grab it. Found fuse. It could also be on the side of this cabinet right there or on top also on this table and I think some people have said they found it on that wooden table or somewhere over there I have never seen it there you're gonna put the fuse in the box knife the door again and they're gonna tell you to do the generators these are the generator locations you have to blow them up with a grenade uh, China Lake works great that's the first one I'm gonna go to the second one now the crossbow is actually really good to kill these two this is the second one behind the lighthouse uh, the third one, I don't really know what to call it, it's just kind of over in this nook. Um, after that one, you're going to go up to the ship, it's going to be off the side of the ship. And you got to remember, you got to blow all these up with the grenades, China Lake, crossbow. I'll go ahead and make this less foggy for you. Shabam! It's magic. You like that? After you do those, it's time for the whiskey bottle or vodka bottle they want you to get. It could be on this rail, which sometimes it is, or it could be down on this rail right here. These are just a few locations, I'm just helping you. Uh, ours was actually over here. And you're going to need to have your friend stand under the bottle while you knife it. Once again, you're looking for a bottle in ice, and it's going to be on a railing. Alright, you knife that, your buddy catches it, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put the bottle in this tube to the left of the door. Right here. Shabam, push X, it goes up, knife the door again, and they're going to tell you blah blah blah, blah blah blah, which really translate to time to push the radios. you got to push these in order. This is the first radio, right here. It's by the jump pad. This is the second radio. It's behind the lighthouse. On this drum right here. And the third radio is going to be over by this cargo bay. If you could take the zip line from the lighthouse, it's an easy uh, landmark. It'll put you right on top of it. Right here in this standing up. You see it? Bada bing, bada boom. You're going to have your... Uh, your team help you with this do it in order pretty quickly this is the fourth one right here we're actually playing with three people and I found that you can do it by this if you're with three people you get this radio have your other friends get the other ones and you go down and get the fourth radio so you'll be getting the first and fourth radio and if you run down do it quick enough you'll get it I got it every time I did it it's gonna turn on the Morse code light which translates to directions to put in this on the Morse code light which translates to directions to put in the steering wheel and the throttle levers what we're going to do is we're going to do the steering wheel twice then we're going to do the throttle left one and the right one down three then I'll go ahead and show you what happens a little submarine pops up over here Bada bing, bada boom. Check it out, submarine. Now we're going to have to set the dials in the lighthouse. This is how you do it. The numbers from top to bottom are 2, 7, 4, 6. So set the bottom one to 6. And all these dials move each other, so there's a, a, a way you got to do this. You set the bottom one to 6. You go to blue and see how many it is away from 4. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
It's seven away from four. So we go up to orange and we hit the orange dial seven times. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we see how many it takes for orange to get to seven. So it's one, two, three, four. And we go up to yellow and hit yellow four times. Hit it four times, two, three, four. Now we see how many times it takes yellow to get to two, which is one, two, three. So we remember that number. We hit yellow three times. Go all the way down, and you're going to hit the very bottom floor three times also. Now this is uh, a pattern for any numbers you start with, or even if you mess up the lighthouse, you can do this, this uh, pattern. All right, we hit the yellow one three times, so we hit the bottom one three times. Now we just go back up to floor two, and we just make blue four. I think it is two, seven, four, six, yeah. Make blue four. Bam, and everything should be in line. Right now, I'm just gonna go to the top, and I check, and they are, it's two, seven, four, six which is exactly what we want. Next after this is the foghorns. Now you're going to hit them in this order. The one by the pond, and one person can do this by themselves. A lot less confusing, and I, I'm pretty sure it only works with one person, but I could be wrong. Alright, then you're going to hit this one next to the slide. You're going to jump back over the hill, and you're going to hit the foghorn next to the lighthouse. This one right here number three and then we're gonna run all the way back around again speedy gonzales style and then we hit the one on the island after the slide and you're gonna get a green light bada bing bada boom go inside make sure that the green light goes all the way down that means you did everything right and look at that beautiful now, whoever has the VR-11, you guys are going to get a zombie next to the green light. So, my buddy's going to shoot this zombie right here. Bam! Take that zombie. Turn into a human, and everyone needs to shoot the hell out of it. And kill it. Because we don't like humans. Alright. Right here, he finally dies. And then my friend decides he's going to shoot him a couple extra times, I guess. He just gets excited. He's going to flow all the way up, and then you are going to get the golden rod. I go outside to see if I can get a better look, but I definitely can't. So I go back inside, and you can see the rod floating down right there. So we're going to go all the way down. Yeah, lightning speed. And we are going to grab it with X. You can see it in my inventory right there. And then we're going to go back to the vault. We're going to put it in the same spot we put the vodka. Right here. Slurp. It's going to take it. And after some dialogue, uh, this fuse right here is going to blow. And you're going to knife it. No problem, right? Alright, here we go. It's going to go zap, zap, zap. We'll knife it. Bam. After some more dialogue, they are finally going to give you your Wonder Waffle present or surprise or whatever the fuck you work so hard for. And then you're going to get your stand in achievement if you haven't done it in Soul already, and most important, the Ensemble Cast Achievement. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? Pretty serious Easter egg. You also get a gamer picture. I don't know, I think it's lame. Just some guy's face. Uh, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment, send me a message, whatever. I want to give a shout out to my buddies T West and Default for helping me, and Miss Giggles for making the zombies run in circles for hours upon end, and everyone who put hard work into figuring all this crap out. Peace.